Hey guys, Deathbring here, and today's video is going to be a very brief video about Blue Exorcist Chapter 129 and where I think the story is going to head from this point on. I do want to say, I do think this is going to be the last arc of the story. There is no possible way to continue the story past this, and thus Kazu just basically Brett Khan's own statements in the past about the uh, Blue Knight Investigation arc being the 60% way through the story. And we've already had another arc after Blue Knight Investigation where we went back in time and actually investigated the Blue Arc, or the Blue Knight, with Ren, the Mephisto. So yeah, we've had an entire arc since then, so I'd say that's at the 70-80% mark right now. So I feel like this is going to be the last arc of the story. Now I'm going to go dissect the actual chapter that just came out. Alright, first I want to flash back to an old video I made about what I think was going to happen during this whole Satan and Lucifer shit after the fights ended. So let's cut back to that now. And he's going to take Yu-Gi-Oh. He's not going to let Ren and him fight. He's going to teleport them to uh, Gehenna and then give him to Satan. <sighs> How could it be so right but so wrong at the same time? I was right in the fact that Yukio was given to Satan, but it wasn't in Gehenna. <laughs> you know, I'll give myself 0.001% of a point for that, because I got that right at least. We did give him to Satan. Somewhat. <laughs> I was obviously so fucking wrong about the fight, because that fight lasted an entire fucking year. Like, look at this punch! What the fuck is that punch? Satan's obviously back. He is in Shirio Fujimoto's body, or clone body. Why he took this form is because he always had a vendetta against Shirio because he was always taking Yuri away from him. Yuri didn't want Satan to be Ren and Yukio's father. She begged and pleaded with um, Shirio to be their father. She loved Shirio to death and he loved her. You know, too bad she fucking died in his arms. Mm. We got robbed. Now she's in Gehenna, burning with Satan forever. Let that sink in for a minute. Could we just get a moment of silence? Now that we've had a moment to say rest in peace to the best woman in the series, let's move on to why Satan was resurrected. Lucifer resurrected Satan because he wanted to destroy the entire universe and remake it. Make it to a world where demons are respected like humans which is the main theme of uh, Yuri. She wanted to show Satan that humans and demons could live together in peace and harmony. But no, Satan didn't agree with that, and he had a temper tantrum because he's Satan. Can't reason with the man, w what can I say? But yeah, now that he's back, he has started to conquer Asia, starting with planet Earth. A little bit before this happened, we see Ren cannot use his flame because it is too weak. He has sealed his demon way too well. So, I don't know what's going to happen next, or whatever's going to happen. So, like, is Ren just powerless now? Who knows? Another highlight I'd like to point is at Lightning. His full incantation reminded me a lot of Kuro Hitsugi when Aizen used that against Ichigo. I really liked the incantation, I thought it was really cool. I thought it was well done. I also liked that she used teamwork to get him away from, uh, lights. The King of Lights fucking demons that are chasing him, shooting light arrows at them. You know, like a human could not run light, but whatever, not gonna talk about that. I also really, really, really liked the fact the elixir was used. We see Ejin, the King of Water. We see the goddess, or the King of, or the Queen of Fire, which was nice. So yeah, it's it's been pretty cool seeing some of these other ball. I wish we could see all the soul, like the king of emptiness, or the, the emperor of emptiness, I should say, not the king. But that's basically when the chapter ends, is him summoning a bunch of demons and trying to conquer Asya. That's going to be the end of this really jumbled and awful video. Uh, <laughs> okay, I, I'm working on two videos right now. Yato, character analysis, and Orihime's not useless part two right now, so sorry for this jumbled mess. I, I hope it was somewhat fun to watch, and me being a dumbass is fun to watch. But yeah, see you guys later. Peace. Before I end the video, I just want to say, Ren's sister needs to stop being hot. Goddamn.